Welcome to our lecture online. Now that you're beginning to get the hang of how to do these types of problems, what happens now when we square the denominator? And you find that the methodology is exactly the same, the outcome will be a little different, but the strategy and the, the actual way of solving this problem is exactly the same the way we did the previous one, and it'll be the same the way we do the next one. Each time when the difference appears, don't let that scare you, the methodology should be the same. So again, what we're going to do here is we're going to let u equal what's inside the parentheses a plus bx and so du is equal to b dx or dx is equal to du divided by b and we substitute this and this inside the integral. But then we still have the problem of the x squared so what we do here is we solve this for x. We have u minus a is equal to bx, or x is equal to u minus a divided by b, and x squared is the square of that, which is u squared minus 2au plus a squared divided by b squared. And this then also is substituted in the integral. When we do that, let's see what we get. This is equal to the integral of x squared, which is u squared minus 2au plus a squared divided by b squared, but let's take that b squared outside integral sign, so we have 1 over b squared, times the dx, and dx is equal to a du divided by b, let's take that b also outside integral, this becomes b cubed, and in the denominator we end up with a u squared. And then here again, the best thing to do is to divide the denominator into the numerator, and you'll get the following. 1 over b cubed times the integral of u squared divided by u squared is 1 minus 2a divided by u and plus a squared. Instead of dividing by u squared, we can multiply by a u to the negative 2, and the whole thing multiply times a du. And then you look at each of these three terms inside the integral, and you say, well, I can integrate those, and that will look as follows. This is 1 over b cubed times 1 times du integrated becomes u minus 2a times du over u, which is the natural log of u, and plus a squared times u, add 1 to the exponent, minus 1, divided by the new exponent, minus 1, and we still have a constant of integration. And then simplifying this a little bit more, we get the following. This is equal to 1 over b cubed times u minus 2a times the natural log of u. And here we get a minus a squared over u plus a constant of integration. And now all we have to do is replace what u is equal to. It's a plus bx. So this becomes equal to 1 over b cubed times, and here we get u, which becomes a plus bx. And then we have a minus 2a times the natural log of u, minus 2a times the natural log of a plus bx. And then finally, minus a squared over u. And u is a plus bx and plus a constant of integration and then what you could do realize that a divided by b cubed is simply another constant which can be absorbed by this constant right here so we can actually get rid of the a realizing that a divided by b cubed just add, gets added to another constant and the arbitrary constant becomes a constant and that will then be the final result of that particular integral and that's how it's done